Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to export your photographs out of Lightroom in different sizes and different formats, so depending on what you want to use them for, this is how we go about it. Now I'm in the develop module, I've already processed these five photographs, you see them down the bottom, we have five photographs um, in the develop module. I've already done my editing, so I've you know, up the saturation and so forth. So now what I want to do is select these five photos for export. So I can either click on the first one, hold the shift key down, and click on the last one. That'll highlight all of them. To, to, if I want to export them, I can just right click, bring up the export menu, and export. Right. This brings up our table for the export menu. This is all our options for how we want to export our images. But today I'm just going to talk about where you want them to go, so the destination. So up the top here we have export location, which is the, the part that tells you where you want your photos to go when you press the export button. Now the other part I'm going to use here is the file settings, which is basically the format you want to export the files in, and also the quality. So um, what I'm going to do is start here with, up the top here, if I chose desktop for example, and I clicked on the let's put in a subfolder and I've titled it landscapes. Now if I hit the, hit the export button these five photographs will go into a folder on my desktop so they're in a subfolder called landscapes so a new folder will appear on my desktop called landscapes and it'll have these five photographs in it if I hit the export button. Um, I'll currently be a JPEG in 100% quality so if I hit export You'll see them count up here, the five files will export. They go fairly quickly, and I'll just show you on my desktop. Here is the folder, landscape. So I'll just quickly open that. So we have five photos in here, already exported. They're in JPEG format, and they're a large size. They're pretty much as large as they'll be as a JPEG. So I'll just close that for a moment. Now there's a couple of other options you can do with this, of course. So I've selected those five still. Go on export. In this export menu, what I can do rather than just put a, a folder of five photos on my desktop is I can arrange those folders inside another folder. So if I chose a specific folder, so I want to tell the computer exactly where I want these to go. Now currently we've got uh, me as a user on the desktop landscape, so I've already selected. But if you wanted to go into any particular folder, you can just navigate through all your folders and go well I want them to be in here but I'm currently going to put them in the landscape folder right and I want to export them as a JPEG in a small format so I want to use, use these for like Instagram or Facebook but I don't want to waste my data uploading huge files that, that are only going to get compressed by Facebook or Instagram to fit on so um, if I'm out on the road and I'm doing this with mobile data, I've hotspotted my computer and I'm using mobile data, I don't want to export large format files because that'll just eat up my data. So I want reduced size files that I can upload to Instagram and share my photos straight away quickly and easily with the minimum amount of data usage. So all I do here is just slide that. I'm using a JPEG and I slide the quality down to 10%. Now I also then will just rename this folder so I'll call that small. Landscape small. Now when I export these folders, they'll go into the landscape folder in a folder called landscape small. They'll be a JPEG and the quality is 10%. So if I press export, we'll export those. You'll see them count through here. I'll just drop that screen down in size again. Now inside our landscape folder is another folder called landscape small. Now you see these ones here were yeah, you know, four, five, smaller one, one point megabyte. Inside here now, if I open this, is the small size. So we have a three, 397 kilobytes, 135 kilobytes, 1.1 megabyte. That's a large one because it's a HDR, so it's really about five photos in one. So that's the folder now that if I wanted to decide to put these on Instagram, they're the photos I can use. Now the next thing I can do, I'll just bring this back, is go export again, export, is just change this to a TIFF document. No compression, 
So what this does is basically keep as much data as possible when you export the file in a file that's recognisable by most printers. So you can walk into a pr camera printing shop, you know, like Ted's cameras, give them a TIFF file on a memory stick and they will print it out and it's got as, the most amount of information for printing so they can print these as large as possible before they break up. So all I'm doing now is putting them same thing. Instead of going for small, I would just call it landscape TIFF just so I know where they are. So it's going into that folder on my desktop that's called landscapes in a folder called landscapes TIFF. I've selected TIFF with no compression. So if I hit export, we'll wait for those five to export. And I'll just show you inside the folder what's happened here now. So now we have a folder called Landscapes TIFF. Now you remember these original ones were, you know, three, four, five megabytes, and the small ones were 300 kilobytes, say. These large files in TIFF document are now, you know, 140, 130, 50 megabytes. So these are much larger format files that you would use for printing. All right, so now, simple as that, we've got a landscape folder and if we wanted to really organize it, I would just click into there. I would select those five fold, five shots, drop it in a new folder, which we'll call um, Landscape JPEG. Right. So we'll get, sorry, we'll just select those five again. Two, three, go drop it in there. So now in our folder on the desktop that's called landscapes we have landscape small, landscape tiff, landscape jpeg. So there's our three sizes of files for whatever we want to choose to do with them. Uploading them onto the net or printing them or just you know using them for your own viewing on your TV screen or whatever is the normal jpegs. Um, so there you go. I hope that helps you understand how to do that. There are plenty of other ways of course to um, manipulate the sizes and the formats of your photographs in Lightroom, but that's a simple and easy way to do it. So I hope that helps.